Welcome to Winning Strategies. This is a great month to insulate your business. We're going to talk about three things this month. We're going to talk about passing value and not just the wealth of the next generation. We're going to talk about protecting those beneficiaries and putting the tax man at the end of the line. We're also going to talk about a sales idea that is guaranteed to impact everybody that you talk with in a positive way. So let's go ahead and get started this month. A lot of people talk about passing wealth, but the real important thing that you really need to think about doing is passing value. And value and wealth are two different things in my mind when it comes to talking with clients. You can do a lot of different things with annuities to pass the wealth from one generation to the other, and your beneficiaries probably appreciate that, but what they really would appreciate is knowing that they passed on value. So what I encourage a lot of people to do is think about Putting in money into a single premium immediate annuity, making the grandchild as a beneficiary and a joint annuitant. That way when that grandparent passes away, that grandchild continues getting that same amount of income plus a 3% growth factor for the rest of their life. But what you really do in order to separate yourself from the competition is have that grandparent write letters. Have them write letters when that grandchild turns the age of 16 about what the excitement is of driving a new car and the responsibilities of driving a car. Also, have them write something when they turn 21. Have them write a letter for the day that they get married, the day that they have their first child, and that way your office can deliver the value of that grandparent that's no longer with them. When you start delivering value as opposed to just wealth, you separate yourself from the competition, and that's really what you want to do to insulate your business. One of the easiest ways that you can double your business starting right now is to really get close to the beneficiaries of all of your clients. We always talk about doing beneficiary reviews and things on life insurance, but we really fail to do that on annuities, and it can be just as important. You know, according to LIMRA, there's $489 billion setting inside of annuities that are not taking guaranteed living benefits, not being annuitized, just simply not being used for income purposes. The problem with that is that that has a bunch of embedded gains in it over the past 20 years that those people have held annuities. They bought an annuity for, for a specific purpose, but they haven't used it for income. It's just got a bunch of embedded gains into it. The problem is, is that when that person passes away and goes to the next generation, that beneficiary gets taxed as income tax, and it's typically at their highest marginal rate. So you can really make a friend with a beneficiary by showing them a more tax efficient way to accept that type of wealth. One of the best ways to do that is through an income rider that allows the current person to get an exclusion ratio for income. But then when that person passes away and it goes to the next generation, that person has the ability to go in and grab the entire cost basis tax free. So what you're doing is you're putting the tax man at the back of the line and putting the family at the front of the line. When you do that, you're gonna win a lot more business from those beneficiaries. They're going to be customers for life, and then they'll gather some of their assets, and you can gather those assets from those beneficiaries as well. Hope you enjoy that idea. Part of insulating your business is to make sure that you're telling a story that impacts just about everybody that you speak with. One of the things that I'm a big believer in is the Qualified Longevity Annuity Contract. It is an idea that no matter the wealth of your client, it will improve the probability of success. We did a study and I encourage you to go to our website, www.ashbrokerage.com, download our uh, white paper on the 2018 QLAC study. What we did is we did a study of all different types of investment portfolios from conservative to aggressive. We put money in there at ages 55, 60, 65, and 70, and we ran out the probability of success of still having a dollar in the portfolio. And each one of those different cells that is in the study has over 5,000 Monte Carlo simulations. We then went back and with the exact same portfolios, we put in a $130,000 qualified longevity annuity contract. 
the results were phenomenal. In those 48 cells, we improved the probability of success in every one of those 48 cells. So if you're looking for an idea to go out and talk with any client or any prospective client, talk about Qlax. I'll share a couple stories with you. We had an advisor that talked about Qlax to a prospective client. They were interviewing a couple other financial planners and then they came back to the advisor and said, we're going to do business with you is over $2.1 million of assets under management. When the advisor asked, why did you choose me? They said, because you talked about QLAC and no one else talked about the tax efficiency of retirement income. Second story that I want to share with you is one of our retirement income consultants did a client presentation out in Virginia. He was going down to exercise the next morning before he headed back home. There was a person on a treadmill next to him and he noticed the Ash Brokerage t-shirt. And so the person engaged with the retirement income consultant and said, hey, you know, are you in the financial business because you have brokerage? And, and he's just wanting to get his exercise in and then go home. Kept on pressing and said, you know what? I just bought a QLAC from my uh, person at a wirehouse and I had to tell my stockbroker about the qualified longevity annuity contract and almost force him to sell it to me. You people need to do a much better job about the education on qualified longevity annuity contracts because I love guaranteed income. I think if you take a look at that study and you find that nearly 100% of the people are going to have their retirement improved and the fact that most clients want to have guaranteed income right now, it's going to be an opportunity for you to go out and capture a lot more assets under management, but also tell a story that no one else is telling. That's a way for you to insulate your business. If you like these ideas that can help you insulate your business, I encourage you to subscribe to this YouTube channel. Also, subscribe to our podcast, The Winning Strategies Podcast with Mike McLaughlin. You can find that on iTunes, Stitcher, or any of your other favorite podcast platforms. Also, click the links below. If you missed uh, this month's webinar, there's a replay available as well as a link to all of our blogs and other materials, including our white papers. I hope you enjoyed this uh, month's topic. Stay tuned for next month because we're going to talk about how to make that retirement income even more tax efficient for your clients. Have a great day.